Are you going to say good morning? Are you going to say good morning? Say morning. The minute I press record, he doesn't want to say anything. Oh, morning, it's been mama or dada. Oh dear. Chaos. That's the cat's toys everywhere. Anyway, good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? I feel like I have not picked up the camera for a while, even though it was only last week. But I thought I'd just do a bit of a daily vlog. I don't know if anybody actually enjoys watching these because I feel like this is all I do. But I like doing them. And if anybody does have any suggestions, please do tell me because I just feel like I'm kind of doing the same thing. But if people like them, that's great. I like doing them. Me and Callum do have a very exciting video planned for... I think we're going to film at the weekend. Hang on, let me just move the camera a little bit. Yeah, me and Calm have a really exciting video idea for the weekend. So that will probably be a video coming out next week. But I won't say too much about that. I just thought today we could do... Mama. Dada. <laughs> Is that right? Are you saying Dada? Grayson was just saying hi, finally said good morning. He's literally sat right next to me. You hear him coughing, he has been full of cold, bless him. He's had it since. Are you telling everyone you're getting better? Yeah. You're getting much better, aren't you? He's been full of cold since Monday. He's barely been like a runny nose and a cough. I think this camera keeps sliding. He just sounded a lot better this morning, but I think he's just... This is life now. We can have full-on conversations. We did get one of those Calpol plug-in diffuser things and we used that last night and it seemed to help, I think. It, it didn't seem to cough as much in the night. Whether that's linked, I don't know. Somebody did tell me about them before, but then I just forgot. But before somebody told me, I'd literally... Oh, bless you. Bless you. Since somebody told me, I'd never heard of them before. So if you've not heard of them, um, you can get little cowpaw plugins and they are lavender and chamomile, I think. <laughs> so for today's video, I think we are just going to have a bit of a day at home. I've got a bit of tidying up to do, probably a bit of washing. I was going to bake Callum some flapjack because he absolutely loves it and it's a nice little treat for him when he comes home from work. So yeah, I think that's the plan today. I was going to go out for a walk this afternoon. I think I'll still go. <laughs> this is his new thing as well at the minute. He goes like this. <laughs> you do it. You do it. It was really sunny this morning, but now it seems to have gone really cloudy. So we'll see. We'll see how the morning goes and I'll probably take him after his dinner. So that's the plan of action today. Also, can we talk about how different life is when your baby starts crawling? So last week when we were away on the Thursday, I think it was. Are you telling everybody how you can now crawl? So last Thursday, Grayson just started crawling. Like he's been showing signs for a long time. But on Thursday, he just did it. And I was like, oh. I just thought like, where has my baby gone? Like, you just remember this like tiny newborn and now they're like crawling. But it's just amazing how quick they go. Like once they've nailed it, they are gone. Like yesterday I was in the living room with him and he was literally right in front of me. And within a second, he was at the other side of the room. I was like, how have you got from here to there? Like, how is that possible? But... Yeah, that's it now. That's life. I'm just going to have to have eyes in the back of my head. But I did buy something to make our life just a little bit easier. So I did buy us a playpen from Amazon. I put it together the other day. And it's just so good. Like, if I need to, like, make his dinner or get myself a drink or go to the toilet for myself or, you know, just do something like that, I can just pop him in his playpen and I know he's safe and obviously he's got his toys in there. And it's just amazing. So I'm going to show you that, actually. Let me show you. Oh, hello, Kit Kat. Right. So this is the playpen I got him. So I got this from Amazon and it was £20. And it was honestly the easiest thing ever to build. And it's like, 
just it's quite big actually like it's not massive but for him it's just a great size so i'll leave it in the description in case anybody wants to get one obviously we're quite fortunate in our living room let me just move over here because we do have quite a lot of room at the back to have one we obviously didn't want something that was like massive because we didn't want it to take up like the whole living room so we couldn't move so this one was like a really good size and it's just great so yeah he likes going in as well i mean sometimes he does try and get out and like protest but yeah it's honestly been a savior so anyway i'm gonna go and get on with a few jobs that i've got to do and then i will pick the camera up probably when i'm doing a bit of baking this morning with grayson so i will speak to you soon it was maybe about time that i folded our washing up because it's been sat on here four days now i don't know if anybody else is the same but i just leave, <laughs> i just leave it like i don't know i don't normally leave it as long as this but i just couldn't be bothered to fold it up but i thought i think it's time to get it done <laughs> also i feel like i should say the conservatory we have made a start on doing what we need to do in here so we are trying to empty out we only really have this left but we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there so this is the next job how are you just so cute hmm anybody else was absolutely obsessed with her cat i just love her so much she's the best not you mm. this is my jelly cat He's called Christ. Callum bought me him quite a few years ago, actually. Now he's my little bestie. And yes, I do still have a jelly cat. <laughs> hey, Bobby! Hey! <laughs> hey! Hi there! Oh, hi, Peps! Hi! We're gonna go for a walk. Cover. Are we going for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Where's your teeth? Peppa, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Come on in. So we have just come out for a walk and we have got Peppa with us. She is, she loves going out for a walk. So, well, I say loves, sometimes she loves going for a walk. Sometimes she could take it or leave it. But I don't know if any, anybody else that's got a cockapoo is the same. But whenever you get their harness and their lead out, she like hides in a corner as though she doesn't want to go. But then when she's out, she loves it. I don't know if that's just a cockapoo thing or if it's just a Peppa thing, but yeah we'll go out for a walk now little man is almost asleep so we will enjoy a bit of fresh air now while we can come on <laughs> no 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 <laughs> where's my big boy where's that teeny tiny new bone gone mama, mama. Mama. so we've just been out for a walk hence the reason why i'm red because i get so hot like I said in my last vlog, I still get so hot when I go out for a walk. My hormones have not calmed down. Eight months postpartum, so who knows when that's going to happen. So we're going to have a bit of time playing now and then I'm going to go into the kitchen. I'm going to make some flapjack for Callum when he gets home because he absolutely loves it. And then we'll probably just chill out for the rest of the day. I think Callum's finishing work late today, so Grayson, where you go? Anyway. I am now in my glamorous kitchen with the loveliest wallpaper and the loveliest cupboards. Just going to make some flapjack like I said earlier because I'm going to make Callum some when he gets home from work because don't think he's had the best day and why not? Nice little gesture. So I'll show you the ingredients you need. So I've got porridge oats, golden syrup which the lid has seen. Oh my. Yeah. The lid has seen better days. Light brown sugar and butter or margarine, but I use butter because that's all we have in the house. 
I've got all the ingredients measured out, so let's get baking. So now all the sugar, butter and... What else did I put in there? Oh, golden syrup is mixed. Um, now you just pop that into your oats and then put it in a tray and then put it in the oven. So I'll put this in here. Then mix, mix, mix. I think you're supposed to roll the oats out or something, but I don't. I just buy porridge oats and then just use them and it always seems to work well, so just use whatever you find works best for you and listen i'm not a pro baker i know my basics and that's it i'm just here to keep the husband happy and i think i do a good job so i have put the mixture in this baking tray and i do put butter in before i put baking paper in because I just find it easier because I find it easier to stick it down. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I do. But like I said, I'm not a pro baker. So I'm not Mary Berry. I'm not, you know, I don't know any other bakers except for Mary Berry. But yeah, we've got a gas oven, which may I add is absolutely rubbish. I don't know why, but when, the, when we moved in, they said it's very temperamental is this oven. And yeah, they weren't wrong. So I put it on gas mount seven. It does say you're supposed to put it on six, but I always find seven is better. I'll pop it in for about 20, 25 minutes. Keep checking on it. If it needs a bit longer, I'll give it a bit longer. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the end result, but it looks good though. Making me hungry. I'm going to go feed Grayson and wait for my flapjack to cook. So see you soon. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Fresh out the oven as well, so the house smells delicious. I wait for it to cool down and then I'll chop it up into little sections. And then it's all ready for calso when he gets home. I've just got Grayson off for a nap. So I thought I would show you the spare bedroom because I realized that, sorry about the lighting, this is not great. And look at my hair, please just excuse my hair. So I realized I said in, two videos ago I think I think it was when I did my pack with me I mentioned about um that we've nearly done the spare bedroom and it is pretty much done to be fair so I'll just show you how it's looking at the moment I don't know if it's tidy or not okay no not really hang on a second this is how it's looking at the moment just come back here so I've also got my makeup desk in here and Callum is also like obsessed with collecting DVDs as you can tell. So we've got all that in here. They need to go in the loft there from our holiday. But the only thing we have really left to do is just like find things that will go on the wall. Um, but that's about it really. And we've not like been shopping or anything recently to get some stuff. So we are getting there. But also, one thing I did want to mention is I got sent this baby monitor by Mum Cozy and I am honestly just speechless that they actually wanted to work with me. But I do have a discount code to get yourself 20% off one of these baby monitors. If I could say anything is I wish I'd have got this one sooner. So if I could recommend one, I would recommend getting that. I do have a discount code and it is Jodie BBM. Now, I haven't been sponsored to say this in this video. I don't have to tell you this, but honestly, I couldn't recommend it anymore. I'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out. So I just thought I'd show you whilst Grayson was asleep because I thought I might as well because I know I mentioned it in that video and then I kind of never mentioned it since. I know this has been a little bit of a random vlog, but I just kind of wanted to pick the camera up today, video our day, kind of bring you along. Because I like watching these and I don't know if people do get bored, but if you do get bored of watching them, please do let me know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end today's video because I am going to get myself some food, I think. And when
wait for Calum to get back from work. I'm not sure what time he's going to be back yet, so I'll see you when he gets back. Also, I forgot to mention actually, tomorrow me and mum are going to watch Diversity in York and I'm so excited because this was my Christmas present from my mum back in, here we know, 20. 22 Christmas 22 so I'm so excited to go see them so that'll be really good we have seen them before so I'm looking forward to it so anyway right on that note I'm gonna end today's vlog here I do hope you've enjoyed this video if you did enjoy please do hit the like button and please do hit subscribe if you want to follow along and watch more from me so yeah I will speak to you very soon and I will be back very soon with a brand new video bye